So you had some huge fights on your way to the boat. Which one are you most proud of? Probably the semi-finals, you know, we met Joe Cardina, the GB number one there, like Olympic boxer, the number one, number one seed and all that. So when we, I knew we, we could beat him. We watched a couple of videos, videos of him in the morning. We've seen him before in different tournaments. So we went out and we executed the game plan and beat him. And uh, once we done that, we knew there was no stoppers in the final. So that was it. That was that was the main win. So boxing's an individual sport. So how did it feel to be part of a team, especially one as successful as Team Scotland? Uh, it was weird. Normally, you just it's just the boxers, your own wee crew, making weight and all that. And then you go out and there's all these other nations, all these different countries, and all your own sports. And you just it's weird because you're like, who's that? And who's that? And, People are walking about with medals and all that. It's a bit mental, man. It takes a bit of getting used to it, but it was because, um, I know, we were in competition for the start of the tournament right through to the end as well, so we didn't get about much. But it was good to see all the other athletes all doing well and stuff. It was brilliant. So, and you've recently turned pro, so what does the future hold for the male man? Ah, well, I'm fighting next week here in the Fissel, uh, a week on Sunday. Debut, pro debut, I'm going to be fighting with under Eddie Hearns, with Frank, uh, with Alec Morrison as my manager, um, Peter Harrison as my coach, and that's us, we're ready to, ready to go, we've got the platform that's up for me to build it. And are you still buzzing? Ah, <laughs> that's it, all the way to the stinking top. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you. Right. Congratulations. Right, cheers. Go.